Good morning, folks. We're going to take a look at yet another sacrifice the powerful players in the world are demanding of us. We've got a paper confirming the importance of the South Atlantic anomaly. And of course, we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Minor pops, minor flares, no big CMEs. Last night you may have caught our special video about the plasma filament on the south incoming from the left side and the sunspot destabilization potential nearby. However, literally right after the video, the other thing I discussed managed to occur. The northern departing sunspots began morphing quickly, and just as we discussed a sympathetic eruption of a filament due to sunspot activity, as the northern departing sunspot popped the near M-class solar flare this morning, the big filament nearby it began to have a small disruption to its stability, has a good chance of either erupting or collapsing today. We'll have eyes on it. Now, hopefully, we recall it was just a few days ago we shared this story about how they are analyzing the climate impact of human breath. It's right up the alley of the idea that we are the carbon they want to reduce. Now, they are saying that we also have to strangle the economy to meet their climate goals. I told you last year that what they did over COVID was nothing compared to what they have planned in the name of the atmosphere. Climate war is going to be very, very bad. Last but not least, today is a study confirming that the South Atlantic Magnetic Anomaly weak spot is a recurrent feature. We've seen this before. The suggestion that something like it is always present when the magnetic field prepares for excursion or reversal. Can't say I argue with that one bit. Links to the new papers are found below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.